All right, hello everybody, and welcome. Today we're going to continue our playthrough of Lost Judgment. Okay, let me quickly check if the uh, stream is running. Title and category are good. Okay, let me quickly check the... Hey, that's my voice. That's my crazy voice. All right, back to stream manager and let's play. There we go. All right, so what happened uh, last time? Oh my gosh. Sala Sensei was murdered by the RK. And also, I think we concluded the skater gang drama. So what do we got going on here? Return to Yokohama 99. All right, I guess let's get out of the school. Yeah, wheelchair accessible, nice. All right, time to gotta get the wait a minute. Serial high. What is that? Oh my God, the school is full of stuff to do. What's going on here? Serial high robotics club. What are they doing in the cafeteria? You know what? Let's let's. Start easy, because we just, you know, dealt with a murder. So let's do some of the high school stuff. All right, how do I get to the cafeteria? Okay, this is the shoe area. The cafeteria's up that way. Wait. Fudge, I went the wrong way. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We got it. I wonder if uh, the nurse is in. I think we can only come here at night. There's the nurse. Oh, hello. It's nice of you to come all the way here, but I'm a bit busy right now. Things will probably die down at night. I should stop by then. Okay, yeah. I, f I forgot how we changed the time. I think we changed the time at the Yokohama 99 office. All right, robotics club. It's time for nerd stuff. Okay, where's the nerds? Nerd. They're playing Magic the Gathering. That's what they're doing, or Yu-Gi-Oh's. The Serio Cafeteria has a pretty good karage combo. Oh, that's a uh, fried chicken. Oh, but we're just having snacks, right? Itokura-senpai. What are your favorite snacks, Itokura-senpai? Oh, this is, what's her name? Yeah. <sighs> ah, potato chips. <laughs> I love chips. I I'm a big fan of seaweed and salt. Oh. <sighs> uh. I'm partial to the consomme flavor. Yes. Oh, yeah. Those are great, too. Ah, huh. Sakura-kun seems to be enjoying himself. He always seems so tense in the robotics club room. <laughs> hey. Go on. Bring it up already. Oh, uh, right. By the way. Sakura-kun. There's still a lot we don't know about the Robotics Club. Probably because we just joined. Would you mind sharing what you know? Yes. Uh, of course. All right, ask about Okitagawa. Hey. Uh, what kind of guy is Okitagawa? Uh, he comes off as a real go-getter. Hmm. Uh, that's because he is. Uh, he's an amazing person. At least in my book, the Robotics Club completely changed after he joined. Uh, before that, we never had any goals and, or deadlines. We'd mainly just sit around talking and getting excited about some cool ideas we'd have. But we'd end up doing nothing and losing in the preliminaries because we were never ready. But we were fine as long as we had fun. It was all very relaxed. Yeah, 
Sounds like the dream. Well, when the club's so easygoing, it could put you to sleep. I'm sure it was very rewarding for a guy like Otogigawa to step into it, especially, af especially having just transferred. Yeah. He just gives off that micromanager vibe. What well, with all the reporting and the uh, milestones and the ABC talk. Ah, uh. uh, yeah. I didn't even know what that was at first. I was all ABC. Should we do the rest of the alphabet? Look here. Ah, uh, and I don't agree with how Utagagawa does things. Don't we have a motto for robot contests? If I'm not mistaken, it was. We think together, we build together. This is the exact opposite of that. I see. Ah. I get how that exactly... Wait, how that doesn't exactly line up with Otigagawa's top-down approach. Alright, ask about Takamori. Hey. What kind of guy is Takamori? The one in charge of, uh, construction. Uh, he seems to be... Uh, he seems to butt heads with Otogigawa every so often. Uh, um. uh, yeah, th those two don't get along so well. Taki <laughs> Takamori Senpai was supposed to become president before Otogigawa Senpai came along. Oh man, those are tongue toasters. But when the previous president retired, he named the newly transferred Otogigawa Senpai as his successor. It happened right after he transferred, so everyone was shocked, especially Takamori Senpai. Oh. Oh, heck of a promotion for a new guy, huh? Takamori's definitely holding a, a huge grudge over it. He loves complaining when Otogigawa isn't around. <laughs> Not like anyone's lining up to listen to him, though. Uh. I, I mean, he'd go on forever if we did. So, Takamori's unhappy, which also sounds like a consequence of Utagagawa's regime. Alright. Oh man, it's hard to remember all these. Ask about Kuramazaki. By the way. Kuramazaki-kun, the designer. Otogigawa seems to hold him in high regards. That's right. Uh, yes, that's right. Kuramazaki Senpai is quite talented, always finishing his designs without much fanfare. He never misses deadlines, and he is very meticulous. That's why the president uh, likes him so much. <laughs> yeah, overbearing bosses always prefer a good lapdog. Well, uh, Kuramazaki Senpai is very kind. He always worries about me whenever the president chews me out. <sighs> sure, but it's guys like him who let the people around him tell him how to walk and talk. Uh, that's not true at all! That reminds me, uh, Itokura se seems to have beef with Kuramazaki-kun. Hmm. Maybe it's better if I don't bring it up. Alright. Nothing else to ask. I think that's about everything I wanted to ask. Huh. I think I understand the robotics club a lot better than before. Thanks to your help. <laughs> we should do this again soon. Hey, why, why is he leaving? Hey. So, Itakura, will you help me investigate the professor? I refuse. Nope. Hard pass. Ah, still won't give me the time of day. By the way. Okay, well, how's school going then? It's not so bad, right? Uh, who's to say? Not me, that's for sure. Some idiots might still want to jump on, <laughs> want to jump me. Uh, like Amasawa's brother. I don't know about that. 
I should really do a better job of keeping tabs on Itakura. All right. Find s okay. Continue the robotics club investigation. Let's see how far we are in all of these. Is it? What's this? School days. Mm. This is Mystery Research Club, still ongoing. Fudge. This is the Dance Club. So many connections there. We are 50% done. This is only 14%. 50. 12% with the Robotics Club. 100% with the uh, Skaters. Is that all? Oh, we still haven't unlocked the other clubs. Fudge, there's so many clubs, man. All right. What else is going on? What's going on in this school? What is this? Robotics club. Okay. Uh, what's that blue thing? Curse of the Amasawa family heirloom. What the heck is that? I gotta talk to Amasawa. How do I get over there? Ah, we have to go. Oh, sorry, miss. Jeez. So rude. Alright, I'm Asala. I'm worried about you. Yagami-san. Uh, do you have some time to hear me out? This investigation may be a bit more involved than usual. Alright. Amasawa mentioned a classmate she wanted to discuss with me. Sounds like this is going to be a long one, though. Once you start this side case, everything else will be put on hold until you clear it. Proceed? Alright, I guess this is what we're doing. Uh, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm back. Sorry about that. My allergies are bothering me. Okay, help Amasawa out. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing. After all, I am the MRC's outside counselor. Thank you very much. So, this is about my classmate. Actually, I should go get him now. I'll be right back. Yoroshiku. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm, uh... Hisayoshi Shimada, uh, second year. I'm Yagami, the MRC's advisor. Nice to meet you. Hey. So, what exactly do you need help with? Um... Well, Yagami-san, do you believe in things like curses? What was that? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Well... Just to preface, this case is going to sound either mysterious or ridiculous, depending on your answer. So. I know it's going to sound crazy, but please, you have to believe me. Uh, just tell me what's going on first, then we'll see if how it ranks with all the crazy things I've, I've heard. 
Curse of the Amasawa Family Heirloom. Oh no. About the case request. Hey. Would you mind start uh, starting us off, Shimada-kun? So, uh, it's about this, this lucky cat. I have at home. A lucky cat. You mean one of those statues of a cat waving its paw? Or like an actual cat? Yes. The former, yes. They're said to bring good fortune. So, you can spot them in all sorts of businesses. There are quite a few kinds. Most of them are said to bring good luck. But black lucky cats are supposed to ward off bad luck in particular. Oh. Huh. Didn't know they got that specific. The thing is, my lucky cat doesn't do any of that. It doesn't bring money or good luck. It just attracts uh, tragedies. Hmm? Uh, tragedies? Here, this is it. Uh, looks pretty old. My dad bought it from an antique dealer friend of his. Actually, they're really expensive. Especially the pre-war ones like this. But, my dad's friend warned him at the time. This cat brings more bad luck than good. Yeesh. So, why'd your dad buy the thing if it's supposed to be cursed? He collects all sorts of rarities. Especially the stuff with uh, interesting stories. He goes nuts for those. Hmm. Ah, sounds like uh, an interesting guy. But yeah, a lucky cat that brings more bad luck than good? I admit, that's an intriguing hook. And Yagami-san, the, the curse, or whatever it is, evidence is starting to pile up, making it seem real. Well... Ever since acquiring that statue, the Shimadas have all have been through one ordeal after another. What was that? Uh, like what? Uh, the unlucky cat. Like, uh, some pretty scary stuff. My dad got a really high fever all of a sudden, and was touch and go for a bit. Our house caught on fire, too. Wow. Potential arson and serious illness? You weren't kidding. That's scary stuff. And my grades keep slipping ever since dad bought the thing. I never dropped below 10th place before this. Hmm. Hmm. Is that really the statue's fault, though? Well, he sure can't blame me for the ghost. One woke my dad up in the middle of the night, standing right there next to his bed. Huh? Wait, a ghost did? He was dressed all like an old-timey soldier and totally pale. Just stood there like he was at attention. But he kept moaning, Give me back my cat! My dad thought he was dreaming, so he rolled over and went back to sleep. Does that mean... So, was it just a dream? Yeah. I don't know, but the next day, that's when he started feeling awful. It's like he'd been cursed or something. I see. Well, that would be unsettling. Even if it was just a string of coincidences. My dad's still not out of the woods now that he's healthy either. He almost got run over by a car a couple of days ago. It's still going on? This isn't really sounding like coincidence anymore. But I don't, I don't know what it could be. At this point... It's probably safe to consider further misfortune inevitable. That may help us determine the cause before any irreversible damage is done. I'm telling you, it's the cat. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Why even keep it? Excuse me. Here's the question: If you're all so creeped out by it, why don't you just throw it out? Ah. It's my dad. He refuses to get rid of it. 
He says the previous owner was this famous author who met his demise because of the statue. What? So the statue was cursed even back then? Yeah. My dad said the guy died and he hit his head on it. Are you well, serious? when he hit his head on it. Oof. That is quite the story. Apparently, his whole fan base is obsessed with the statue. That's why it's considered really valuable, despite the curse. Uh. Oh, wait, who's this author, by the way? Well, uh. Kitan Amasawa. He was a mystery novelist, and my grandfather. Huh? What? Your grandfather? Oh. And you said, uh, hitting his head on the statue? Huh. Hitan Amasawa. So, this was the actual cat that, you know... Yes. Well, only if this is truly the exact same statue my grandfather owned. Hmm? Wait, so you don't know if this is actually the same one? Taj! Welcome! Yes, we are back to Lost Judgment. And we are doing a mystery of, of one of those lucky cat statues that is very, very unlucky. Yeah, it's causing uh, curses to happen to this family. Yeah, how you doing, Taj? And a big peacekeeper salute to you! Welcome! Oh, iPad. There we go. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. I hope you're having a good night. How's your weekend? Let me read some of this. Well, well, my grandfather has been missing ever since he passed away. About seven years now. Shortly after he died, my grandmother pawned it off. She always thought it was rather creepy. Wait a minute. You're doing good? Getting to celebrate part of your birthday with me? No way! All right, Tosh. Well, you, since you're new here, you don't know that I sing birthday songs, Tosh. <laughs> Anybody that mentions it's their birthday, it's your unlucky day. All right. <laughs> We're going to start with the restaurant one. Happy, happy birthday to you. Hey, happy, happy birthday to you. Hey, you look good. You look fine. Hope you had a great time. Happy, happy birthday to you. Hey! <laughs> happy birthday, Taj. And on the other one. Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday, Taj. <laughs> so what did you get to do? Is it today? Like, uh, I hope you went out and did something. You're welcome, Taj. Yeah. Cool, we all got birthdays around this time. It's so weird having birthdays around the holidays, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You do anything special? I hope you did. I hope you're having a good birthday, Taj. Oh man, we should have we should have done some. I don't know. I don't know if there's a birthday game to play. <laughs> well, yeah. If you have any requests, let me know, Taj. Da 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 da. It's today, and you got to relax, and it was so worth it. That's good to hear, Taj. I know you got hectic, hectic, hectic business stuff to do. My gosh, it hurts my brain thinking about it. Yeah. I'm glad you got to relax. Oh my god, what's the weather like by you, Taj? It's super cold here, and it was like raining for two days. Yeah, it didn't snow though, but it was still super cold. I had to put the garbage out and it was like freezing. <laughs> well, dude, you found, you found your switch. Oh my gosh. You're ready for you to run backwards sometime soon? 70 degrees, that's insane. But you are in... You are in the desert, I guess. <laughs> it 
So Taj, do you have Fall Guys loaded up by any chance on your Switch? I don't know if it's on there. Because I've, I've never had a Switch. But it should be a free game somewhere to download. I don't know how the Switch works. If it's like Nintendo Store or something. And I don't know if you need hard drive. I don't know if it's a hard drive space or memory card space. Something like that. There's a big differential between the day and night. Oh, yeah, that's that's how the desert works, right? Because of the there's less moisture to keep the temperature even. So it's 70 in the day and 48 at night. Oh my god. You do have fall guys. Is your switch with you right now and is it charged? If it is, we could play tonight. Let me see, what, what's the temperature here right now? It is 35 degrees here, Taj. So it's just above freezing. That's why the rain didn't freeze today. Yeah, but is, there, is it going to snow at any point? No, nah, there's no more rain scheduled for the rest of the week. Except possibly Monday next week. And the temperatures will be in the 40s to to 20s. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, you do have fall, guys. A lot of people don't realize that. So they think it's just hot all the time. Yeah, it's because of the moisture. There's no moisture in the air to hold the heat in. So it dissipates at night when the sun is gone. Lost judgment? Your family in Michigan is saying the same thing. Yes, they're, it's cold. It's really cold. <laughs> oh, man. I can imagine Michigan. Isn't Michigan and, like, Chicago and stuff that... Well, I know Chicago has underground tunnels between the buildings to use just in case the streets get snowed in, which is really cool because New York doesn't have that. I mean, New York has the subway, but it doesn't go building to building. It's like its own separate underground thing. But it's kind of cool. And I think there's also bridges between buildings. So, like like elevated uh, walkways. Yeah. We're going to do Lost Judgment? You don't want to do Fall Guys tonight? Let's see. Chicago is worse with regard to when Michigan is usually... Isn't Michigan the other side of Chicago? Usually colder, being further north. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you guys got to have super snow over there. Are you used to snow, Tosh? Because I know... I forgot if you're originally from California or Michigan. Something like that. You've been all over the place. So that's kind of cool, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chicago is right off of Lake Michigan. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was just uh, across the lake. Chicago is what? Well, what state is that? Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I guess I'm going to read, but please continue chatting. You are from Michigan. You never manage to get used to the cold. It's so bad, Tosh. It's so bad. Plus, it's so dry, too. It's bothering my eczema. I'm getting the dry skin and the dry, itchy scalp. Because I have to hydrate. Thanks for reminding me. I have to hydrate. I am not drinking enough water for the winter. Okay, I hydrated. Let's see. Chicago is Kitty Corner to Michigan? Ah, okay. Isn't Michigan like oddly shaped? Man, it's time to break out the uh time to break out the Google Earth. Where's Google Earth? I'm so bad at geography. That's why I started playing around with Google Earth. Okay, there's the US. All right, let me let me see what's this. Mm, 
So there's Chicago. I've been to Milwaukee. Ah, oh, Milwaukee's like at the bottom of that, Lake Michigan. So Illinois. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. So you are diagonally. I was imagining it the other way around. Pretty cool. Let's see. It's the shape of a mitten. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. You love there. You lived there your whole life. As soon as you realized your allergies were bad there, you were out. Oh. The shape of a mitten. With their up floating above, it's the sixth largest state. Which one, Michigan? Yeah, Michigan does look like a mitten. Ah, no Illinois. You got like all the all the lakes around you. You got Lake Huron and Lake Michigan. Ah. Oh. Interesting. So yeah, you're basically Yeah. Basically right next to Canada. Cool. Wait a minute. Why is part of Wisconsin part of Michigan? Why? Why? Why the boundary like that, Taj? It's like you invaded Wisconsin and took over northern Wisconsin. <laughs> Upper Peninsula? It's not. I think you invaded it, Taj. You annexed it. The yeah, against the Wisconians will. Oh no, it's terrible. Yeah. Like, what is it connected by? Just like a little tiny... It's not even connected, Taj! By this Mackinac City. Inter Interstate 75. That's how you get there. <laughs> it's not even connected. There's probably a bridge over there or something. Yeah. So they just call it the Upper Peninsula? I mean, I guess you could say the same thing about New York. I mean, if you look at New York, New York City doesn't look like it's it's not part of New York si uh, State. Like, New York City looks like it should be part of New Jersey or Connecticut. Yeah. That's weird. da 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 Oh man, Google Earth going crazy. Alright, let's let's close that. Got distracted by a lot. <laughs> There's a small road that connects. Okay. Ontario is only a ten minute drive from Detroit. You go to when you lived there, did you go to Canada a bit? I know I went to Canada from the Niagara Falls route to visit up there one couple of times let's see very different how, how culturally different is Canada oh my god oh wait there's the upper peninsula and lower peninsula and they're very different oh so that's just Michigan but are they culturally Michiganian kind of like whatever you call yourselves <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm learning geographies and and Midwestern culture. Do you guys call yourself Midwest? Or is this like central something? Yeah. Let's see. You've been to Canada all the time? You would go clubbing on the weekends or to the casino because the legal age was 19. Oh, that's interesting. Oh man, I pretty much grew up in casinos. <laughs> Just cause my mom and my dad would always go to casinos. So, yeah. I'd stay in hotel rooms or wander around and find the arcade or something when I was little. Play claw machines and stuff like that and whatever was on the Atlantic City boardwalk. Cool. 
Oh, man. Going clubbing, Taj? What kind of clubs did you go to? Like, what kind of music did they play? This must have been... What was this? 2000-somethings. What was popular then? It was probably... I don't know. Yeah, Taj, what music did you listen to before K-pop? Let me read a few of this, Taj, because I think I'm close to the end of this conversation of uh, Amasawa. All right. Shortly after he died, my grandmother pawned it off. She always thought it was rather creepy. I see. Ah, I see. Can you tell from this picture if it's the same one as your fa grandfather's? Mm. Uh, it's hard to tell just uh, from just a photo. This was also seven years ago. I see. But I do remember that the cat was cursed, even back then. My grandfather was somewhat of a rarities collector himself. Of course, he jumped at the chance of owning a one-of-a-kind unlucky cat. Ah, Kitan Amasawa was famous for his somewhat bizarre tales of mystery. I can definitely imagine him wanting a statue like this. Ah, my grandfather was quite taken with it. He bragged about it quite a bit when I was little. But I'm sure he never imagined his life ending because of his unlucky cat. All right. Hmm. An unlucky cat. Uh, wait. A lucky cat took the life of Amasawa's grandfather seven years ago. And now it's back, wreaking havoc for another family. Yagami-san. I'm not one to believe in the supernatural. All mysteries must be approached rationally, no matter how unusual they present themselves. That's what I firmly believe. Because logic is always found at the true core of any mystery. Right. That being said... But that's also why my grandfather's unexplained death has stuck with me for the past seven years. Hmm. I assume the police ruled out uh, ruled it was an accident, right? If that's the case, it's kind of it kind of sounds pretty explained. A cat killed a man. It was like a, you know in uh, Asian stores the beckoning cat statues, the one with the paw that moves up and down, or just has the little paw raised up. So those are supposed to be lucky because they uh, apparently the white ones call in luck into the premises and the black ones ward away bad luck. But apparently this one calls in bad luck. So and Amasawa's grandfather owned it and it fell on his head and the grandfather died. <laughs> and then that boy's uh, family got a hold of the statue and uh, bad luck started happening to their family. All right, let me let me catch up with the conversation. Let me see. Fudge! Oh no, Tosh. Oh no! It did an update. Why? Why did the iPad? Hold on. Let me. I missed everything you wrote, Tosh. It's not on the iPad anymore. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, the last one is you talking about the Upper Peninsula. Yeah. Oh, god dang it. Hold on, let me see if I reload, if I reload the chat on... in the app. Because they're supposed to, uh... Put the last few minutes of the chat up if you load up a channel. Put the last few minutes oh, of the chat up if you load up It's my voice. That's my crazy voice. How do I pause my, my dumb voice? Okay, let's just, let's just lower the volume. Oh, I can't pause it. It's live. Huh. Okay, there we go. There's your chat. Uh, wait a minute. 
Holy crap, Taj, none of that is here either. Oh, you're quoting it? Okay. Some do, but it depends on where the state the person is from. East Michigan is more similar to New York, and the West state is more Midwestern. Interesting. And you've always listened to popular music, so pop, R&B, hip-hop, EDM. We go to clubs to dance. You was almost always... Uh, what's DD? Even when you didn't... Oh, designated driver? Even when you didn't drive you there. Ah, okay. I gotcha. Cool. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't drink alcohol, really. Ugh, I don't like the taste of it. I don't like... When you go out with friends, I'm so introverted. Like, the one thing I always worry about being introverted is if people want me to drink alcohol and then I say things that I should not be saying to people. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Ty says, at the casino, you'd play the penny slots. You know what? I've only ever found one true penny slot. And I loved it because I, I could just like waste time while my family was all around the casino gambling and I had nothing else to do. And like say some casinos don't have arcades. I've only found one. And then I guess they changed all the machines where they say they're penny slots. But then they want you to play multiple lines. So really it ends up being like a 25 to 75 cent slot, like minimum. So it's not really a true penny slot, but it is a penny per line or something like that. But it's like a billion lines and multipliers. Let's see. Uh, put me on the dance floor and you're good. Nice. Well, you did. You are, you, you know. I imagine, did you impress people, Taj? Like at the clubs? Man, because you must have been dance battling the whole time. And <laughs> like stood out right there, like some kind of movie. The one bar was really fun. It had L-shaped pool table. How do you play an L-shaped pool table? And had Canadian bowling lanes in the back. What's a Canadian bowling lane? That's still better than the quarter slots. True. Man, quarter slots can get expensive. You'd have a good time? Cool. By the way, it's Taj. You don't listen to girl groups, right? I think it was like for uh, for K-pop. I wonder if you've you've tried listening to XG. XG is really interesting. Let's see, Canadian bowling. It's five pins. Basically every other. Oh, wait, uh, basically every other to our bowling. Not many current ones. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was just saying, because, like, XG has very danceable songs. They're, like, really very Western and groovy. I don't know if I'm using old term slang. You know what I mean. I'm an old man. You can't expect me to be saying everything's fire and lit and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm trying to think if I've ever been to a club. I've only ever been to... I've been to one club, but that was to bring uh, my, my younger cousins, because it was like a, what do you call it? It was like a teen, teen dance night club thing. So me and my other older cousin, we were just like chaperones, basically, or just tag along. <laughs> oh, man.
Yeah. And then there was... What else was there? I think we went to one bar in Manhattan. There was like... There was like a dance area. And then there was dancing going on. But it was like... I just sat around. I don't know how to dance. Yeah. <laughs> you have heard several XG? They're good. They remind you of Aaliyah from back in the day. Yeah. A very Western sounding group. You can see the musical influences from the 90s and 2000s. Yeah. That's how I was thinking. It might be something you might like, like dance wise. Yeah. Oh, man. Clubbing. Other than that, I've only been to, like, Filipino party things. <laughs> and, and the religious, like, uh, church, um, uh, church functions or Filipino cultural events where it'd always be the electric slide going on. God dang, that's, like, <laughs> the national anthem for Filipinos. <laughs> it's, I don't know. The electric slide is always going to happen. Yeah. Where's my controller? Oh, there it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man, I can't remember the lyrics, but it's whatever two times. <laughs> Jump to the left or jump to the right. <laughs> jump, jump two times. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so that happens a lot. It's it's a fun time. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me finish. Let's, let's finish up this dialogue first. <laughs> Wait, let's make sure the iPad is, is running correctly. Okay. Let me let me get to the stream manager. Uh, that's not the stream manager. That's the stream manager. There we go. All right. Yagami says, I assume the police ruled it was an accident, right? If that's the case, it kind of sounds pretty explained. Uh, no, actually. On the night my grandfather passed away, I also, I also experienced a strange event. One that has no rational explanation and could only be considered a supernatural phenomenon. What? Really? What happened? Ah, <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to explain it. Let's just focus on finding out if this is actually the same cat or not first. Gotcha. Sure. We can do that. Rare for Amasawa to not have the words. But this could be the actual statue that her grandfather's life uh, that took her grandfather's life. I can see why it'd be so tough to talk about. Uh, Yagami san, I am getting to the bottom of this case, one way or another. If something's causing all the tragedies around this cat, there's a good chance more will occur. I don't want anything as awful as what happened to my grandfather to happen to anyone in the Shimada family. Hmm, makes sense to me, after all. You're all about preventing incidents before they take place. Yes. Right. And not only that, this case is personal. Amasawa. Yagami-san. So Yagami-san, would you please help me get to the bottom of this? Yeah. Yeah, of course. The MRC advisors got your back. Thank you very much. All right. Well, to start with the investigation, first things first. I'd like to see the statue in person. Yes. Good idea. Shimada-kun, do you think your father would mind showing it to us? So. Oh, yeah. I bet he'd be over the moon to have one of Kita Namasawa's descendants confirm his statue's the real deal. I'll give him a call now. He says, yeah. He'd love to meet you guys, in fact. Ah, oh, good to hear. 
Where should we meet him? I asked them to meet us at the cafe near the station. Uh, plague, hey, I guess. Plague? It'll be, it'll be faster than getting him s signed in at the school reception and everything. Is that okay? Man, I forgot what voice I gave this guy. Yes, that's fine. I would have felt bad asking him to come all the way here anyway. Well, I'll make my way to the cafe now. Let's meet up front. Boop, boop, boop. Man, this music... Now that I'm watching anime again, I'm noticing this music all the time. Like this kind of... It's very anime music. <laughs> Let's see. Taj says, Meanwhile, you went to a conference with your mom a while back and had to teach the whole dinner boat. Oh man, you should have led with dinner boat, Taj. <laughs> How to do the wobble. I don't know what the wobble is, but I'm, I'm guessing it's a really cool dance. That was epic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Taj teaching dancing. At a dinner boat! You should always lead your story, Taj, with you are at a dinner boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never done that. I know I know Manhattan has like late night dinner boat cruises that go around, but I've never been to one. Yeah. It's like a modern day electric slide. Nice. Oh my gosh. That sounds cool, Taj. And you did a casino boat once. Man, I've never seen a casino boat. Is it like the old timey one? Like what do you call it? What do you call those? The steamboats? We don't have those around here. But I imagine in the Midwest they probably have a bunch of them. Da 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 da. Are they like big yachts or something, Taj? My gosh. Bum, 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 bum. All right. See you soon, Yagami-san. All right. Move around now. Oh, oh. we're off then? See, Amasawa. You've been on a dinner boat in New Orleans, too. Man, my friends go to New Orleans a lot, but I don't want to go with them. They get in trouble a lot. They are, they are the wild, unruly friends. That do bad things. <laughs> so I never go on any trips with them. Even if they invite me. Yeah. Let's see. The casino boat was a big boat. And it was off of Cape Canaveral. For oh man, Cape Canaveral. I want to see all the space stuff. I think I've been there once, when I was really, really little. I remember space stuff, and then my parents bought me a model kit of the uh, space shuttle. It was really cool. And we got to see those giant rockets they have lying on their sides. These things are gigantic, my gosh. You've had those friends before as well? Yeah. I'm like, every every trip is something like that. It's like... Hey, we're, we're going to Mardi Gras. Do you want to come? I go, no, absolutely not. I do not want to go to Mardi Gras with you guys. And I was like, hey, we're going to Las Vegas. Uh, you want to come? Said, no, ab absolutely not. <laughs> Definitely not Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, they always come back with the most messed up stories. My most messed up stories, Taj. No, what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. So I am not at liberty to, to talk about them. <laughs> Alright. Since we're having a conversation, we can't be reading a lot of, a lot of stuff. So we're going to just go outside and beat up people. Wait for me, please. Oh, crap. I'm a sour. Oh, fudge, so we have to go on this mission. I didn't realize you were following me, Amasawa. <laughs> really sorry. Okay. It's like you could hear her screaming, going like, Hey, wait for me! Catch up. Catch up a, li a little bit. 
Try your best, I'm sour. I'm not going that fast. Yeah. And then the one time they go on a trip and they don't tell me about it, Taj, is they went all the way to Tennessee for like a comic book convention. And I was like, why, why are you go to all these other things and invite me? And then when you guys go to a comic book convention, road trip, and you don't tell me about it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable friends that I have. I know, I can hear her screaming. That's the only time I realized it. I was like, oh, who's screaming? It's like, oh, it's Amasawa. Man, Amasawa, just catch up a little closer. Why are you so distant? Okay, we have to go out. I know, of all the times. Just need, need to be disowned. Man, I, I have known them since... Oh, fifth grade, I think? Either fourth or fifth grade. So, I've known them a long time. <laughs> yeah. One of them is the one, is one of them that, uh, that started the podcast. Man, that podcast is... Yagami-san, would you say that you tail people often? I am I mean, jealous. It's a big part of the job. I want do to do a podcast, but I don't know how they do it. I tend to get made fairly quickly when tailing. What's he's got the he's got the pro anyway. audio equipment and microphones and stuff. It's kind of dangerous when you don't know your target, don't you think? But in the end, isn't it worth it if I can prevent an incident? <laughs> no, Disowned. Not if it's something that puts your own life at risk. I somehow hadn't considered that. That way. But don't get hit by a car, Amasawa. Am I allowed to run? Let's run. Wait, where are we going? It's like some cafe. It should be like a big blue thing. It should be near the school. Why is it not near the school? Wait a minute. Uh, Amasawa, where are we supposed to be going? It's like some cafe. Is it far? I can never tell. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, here. Go to Cafe Flage. Why is it not lit up like normally? I Man, it's in the middle of town. So it would be here. Uh, it's it's hidden behind an icon. That's why I couldn't see it. And we are here. Okay. How am I supposed to bring Amasawa when she's so slow? All right, Amasawa, we have to run. Are you ready to run? Wait a minute. Where? Oh, well, there's a girl present. I'm so help me out with this. Oh, I, I wanted to throw him against the car. Dum 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 dum. Oh no! Okay. Really, guys? No, where'd I'm. Oh, she stayed safe over there. Okay. 
Don't worry. We got time. What? Wait, is it this way? Fudge, don't get hit by cars. It's at this... Oh, we have to go down this way. Okay. Fudge. Delinquents! Oh, he, he, oh man, I feel bad for him. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta throw him under the bus. What a waste. My gosh. Don't forget, Taj. <laughs> Make sure that you got Fall Guys. It's able to run and connect on your online. I don't know if you have to make an online account or something. So we can play. It'll be fun. I know Benime has played with me, Sandy. Who else played Fall Guys with me before? Okay, I'm so we have to go this way. You have it on your switch, but you don't know about how to connect it. Okay. You're gonna have to do some research there, Taj. To connect it. Oh man, you're super far back. This way. Is there a way to call her over? Are you stuck? Oh, she is. There she is. Oh, man, you're so slow, Amasawa. Anyway, I had no idea you had such a famous grandfather. You've played it three surprised? times? No. If anything, it's obvious that you're his granddaughter. Well, now I'm feeling the pressure. As it it's super fun, Taj. Yeah, don't be nervous about it, because none of us will win. <laughs> Just no, don't expect to win that game. The only person I've ever seen win was Benime. Would that make Grandpa proud? The more I hold back, though, the more curious I You decided you're going to get a meta quest. Is that the VR? Tosh? Oh my gosh, that's high tech, Taj. That was some high tech gear. I think one of my friends has a VR thing. But I don't know which one it is. I know it's the one that doesn't connect to a computer, like it could it could just be its own thing. Oh it is! Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool, Taj. Yeah. Oh, sorry, miss. Okay, it's like around here. Here? Oh, there it is. Yeah. You used to have the Samsung VR when it used. Wait, 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 wait. When you used the Samsung S7 phone, you love that thing. You used to watch movies on it when you flew across the country. Oh my gosh. You know what? That's like probably the best idea because then it tunes you out of being in the airplane and you watching a movie. You know, I would imagine if you put on headphones too, or I don't know if it has headphones or whatever, but man, that's a good idea, Taj. Yeah. Especially in crowded places, you know. Oh, watching movies like that would be awesome. So what happens in VR, though, when you turn your head? Like, 
does the does the screen follow your field of view or does it stay where it is? They had a movie theater. Ah, it's a movie theater setting. So it felt like you were there in a theater. Oh my gosh. Have you played any any are there VR games? I'd imagine there has to be some. I mean, I've seen some like that YouTubers would play, but they look confusing. <laughs> oh man. Oh wait. There they are a ton. I saw a thing. What was that VR chat? I saw YouTubers do that like a whole bunch. Did you, were you did you get to try VR chat? Where you could walk around and like talk to other people and stuff. Let's see. You're getting Beat Saber? Oh my god, my friend plays Beat Saber. And like yeah, cuz they they have it on the PlayStation VR. Oh man, that game looks really cool. The thing with the lightsabers, you got to swing around. But you got to be super accurate, I guess, and like on the beat. And it's a great workout, I could imagine. That's like way better than something like DDR and all of that. You got to move your whole body. Plus, now you can watch YouTube videos in 3D. <laughs> oh, wait, I saw a YouTube video on, on my iPad that had, it was like, um, what do you call it? It was like walking around like uh, a city and then you could you could touch screen on the iPad to look up or down or left or right while it was moving around and like in you know while in the video I don't know how they film those things I guess they have those cameras on the stick with that film all over it's crazy and Beat Saber has a BTS pack yeah my friend did that my friend played uh what was it oh I forgot I, it was one of the BTS songs I'm I'm pretty sure it's probably mic drop or something. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, you definitely got to do that. How do they control the hands? You have to have some kind of controller in your hand or something? So it knows where your hands are or it just somehow detects where your hands are? Oh my gosh, that's some cool stuff. I wonder if there's stuff that connects to other things like P that's multiplayer that you could connect with the squad. I'm trying to think. I don't know if any of the squad has VR. Probably some of the guys that work in visual effects in California. Like probably probably a uh, fan and uh, Brian. I remember Gator was talking about getting a VR thing, but I don't think he ever did. Let's see. You have a 3D camera? You took it with us to Europe? Such cool pictures. Oh my gosh. They have controllers for the hands. Tosh! How is it you're so... Like, I, I remember TG talking about this. It's like you're super technically minded, <laughs> but you're not you're not technically minded in the video game <laughs> space. <laughs> oh man, uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, at least you're doing productivity things. Man, TG will probably uh, tell you you should have gotten the PC to play Valorant with everyone. Man, probably there's Valorant already on, on the VR. You're a techie at heart? You're just not a gamer. Ah, yeah. So you must have had, like, all the high-tech stuff. Like, what was that? Google Glass? And, like, um... All that AR stuff. Man. Ugh. Hopefully that stuff gets more commercial. As for PlayStation VR, PlayStation VR is way too expensive. It's like an, like you need a PS5, which is like 500 bucks. Then you need the PlayStation VR, which like I think is another $500. And then you need two of the hand controllers, which is like another 
hundred bucks, I think, each. That's crazy. So, <laughs> no way I'm going to spend that for video games. Let's see. You know, you never got into Google Glass. It just always felt so undercooked. Yeah. It was like, I think it was too early. Definitely too early, like you say. Yeah. Yeah, let me, let me just continue this a little bit. Who is this? This is Shimada. Oh, Yagami Sensei. Amasawa Senpai. Ah. You're Kitan Amasawa Sensei's grandchild, right? It's a pleasure. Yes, nice to meet you. I'm Kyoko Amasawa. Domo. Shimada. Mikio Shimada. My sons told me about you. Thank you for being such a good senpai to him. I must say, I'm surprised seeing you for the first time. You definitely have Amasawa blood in you. <laughs> You're like a heroine. <laughs> Ripped straight from one of his novels. I can already tell you're not just a nice face. You're smart as a whip, too, aren't you? Huh? Oh, uh, really? Uh, come on, Dad. Uh, cut it out. Oh, my apologies. And uh, who's this with you? Yagami. I'm Takuyugi Yagami, outside counselor for the Mystery Research Club. I'm primarily a detective in Kamurocho. Oh ho, a genuine detective! This is just getting better. <laughs> the seasoned private eye trawling the seedy underbelly of the city with his wunderkind, oh my gosh, teen sidekick. Man, I already want to... Uh, if Shopkiss was here, he'd, he'd be mad at my pronunciation. <laughs> I already want to buy the whole series. <sighs> I'm really sorry about my dad. Uh, let's head inside, huh? Da -da 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 -dum. Yeah. What other kind of cool stuff happens with with the VR MetaQuest? I think this is this like a free Star Wars thing, but it from what I heard, it's not that good. You kind of just wave around the lightsaber and stuff. Definitely Beat Saber would be better. Uh, yeah. Well, what else? Was... The only things I know are, are VR chat, which is hilarious. <laughs> That's the future of the internet. Oh, man. How, you know what, Taj? How do people get those VR things where they're playing Beat Saber, but then there's, like, I think a camera on them? They must have to connect the camera to their ceiling or something to film them doing the Beat Saber moves. Yeah, that would be, like, a whole other thing. You've been researching games? As soon as you find more, let me know. Ah, okay. There are some yoga and Pilates ones that look cool. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Man, that's so much more advanced than I get. If you remember, like, the Nintendo Wii and all that. Because my sister and little cousins had all that stuff. All the Wii exercise and Wii sports stuff. For Nintendo. It was pretty cool. They were fun. I forgot what I played that was like... <laughs> it felt like a workout. <laughs> oh man yeah but those are fun they gotta do those again but I, think, I don't know if kids will go for it let's see Yagami says <clears throat> so for the mystery at hand may we see the unlucky cat statue yeah. uh, yes of course here oh man that's unlucky so, this is it. I brought it to a taping of the TV appraisal show a few years ago. They couldn't determine whether or not it belonged to Kitan Amasawa, though. But if it turns out to be the real deal, 
It's supposed to be worth 2 million yen. Yeah, 2 million yen, that's like, what is that? Uh, it's $2,000. No, 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 it's $20,000, right? Huh? Yeah. Huh, 2 million yen? Yeah. I mean, considering its legacy, uh, it's basically the holy grail of his fan base. But, but still, two million. Amasawa. Do you think you could tell if it's actually your grandfather's Amasawa? Please feel free to inspect it. I'd be afraid to break it. In that case, allow me. Uh, oh, this deep red stain. No way. Is... is that from when your grandfather... Uh, no, it's... <clears throat> it's when I splashed ketchup on it. When I was little. What? Ketchup? Yeah, I'd been eating a hot dog in his study, and I got ketchup all over the room. Well, eating may not be accurate. More like swinging it around like a sword. I was really into this historical drama at the time. My grandfather and I watched it together. Ah. <laughs> Sounds like you were quite a little hellion as a kid. That being said... But this stay, and I, I don't know if anything else could make it clearer to me that this is my grandfather's statue. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! I knew it! Yeah. Uh, we could get millions for this? Seriously? Wow. Talk about the core score of a lifetime. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Excuse me. Sorry if this question comes across a, a a bit strange, sir. But I must ask. Does this statue ever make noise? Maybe like a meow? Huh. Does my cat statue meow? <laughs> what makes you ask? Well. Well, the thing is, on the night my grandfather died, seven years ago, I heard it. This cat, it meowed at me. <laughs> Are you serious? Amasawa, is this the supernatural phenomenon you referred to before? It's about 14,000? I know, but I do it the easy math way, Taj. Back when the yen was, what, 100 yen to a dollar? Yeah. I don't know. Well, so what's the exchange rate now, Taj? I'm going by like early 2000s exchange rate. Just like Korean, like, uh, is it Korean won? It is like, I average it to, what was it supposed to be, like a thousand to, uh, to one dollar? It's just the easy way to memorize it. Uh, well, to estimate it, I mean. Da, 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 da. So it would be... Oh man, my math is so bad, Taj. You're smarter than me. <laughs> what is it, 140? No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. no. Yeah, it'd be 140 to a dollar. Something like that? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Math bad for me. Oh, man. I don't know if you were here when I told... was talking about my college years. I was supposed to go in, Taj, and become an accountant. And then my math placement put me in... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, what was it? Remedial. <laughs> I had to take remedial algebra in college. And then I got into statistics because I couldn't place well into calculus. And he told me to take st statistics. And then accounting required calculus and I couldn't do it. So then that's when I switched majors to graphic design. <laughs> oh, man. Well, sometimes. Sometimes we're not cut out for certain things, Taj. You just gotta roll with what you know. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I tried uh, I tried calculus, failed it twice. 
two semesters in a row. That's when I had the 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 dean told me to change change majors. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. He's like, yeah, you're you're not gonna get into accounting. <laughs> Let's see. Your instructor was a major jerk. Oh no. He was busy flirting with this dizzy girl. Dizzy? In your class. Oh my god, that can't be right. That's illegal, Taj. Or unethical. Man, that's wild. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure he worked around it and had to study hard and get through it. But man, numbers, not my thing. I am not quick with numbers. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Amasawa, is this the supernatural phenomenon you referred to before? Yes. Huh. Could you give us more details? Sorry, I know this must be hard. No, I understand. We have to do it for the case. This is the first time I've seen Amasawa like this. Alright, the incident seven years ago or the statue's meow? Heck, I want to know about the meow. Amasawa. So, you're saying you definitely heard the meow of a cat. On the night of your grandfather, on the night your grandfather died. Yes. I have no doubt. I believe it was around 1:30 in the morning. Wait a minute. Taj is saying, halfway through every class, she'd exclaim, "I don't get it." Fudge. Wish I could do that. <laughs> and he'd stop class and reteach her everything. I wish I could do that. My gosh, we hot teacher, this dumb kid in class going, I don't get it. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to come back after class for tutoring. My gosh, Taj. As for calculus, you loved calculus, man. So, I had failed it twice, so I, at this point, I don't know what calculus is. <laughs> I believe that's the one with the sine, cosine, tangent thing. And I never... It didn't click with me. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't understand those waves and everything. Yeah, it's difficult. Ah. <sighs> Amasawa says, I woke up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water and pass by my grandfather's study. That's when I heard a meowing sound come from the room. Did your grandparents have a pet cat? Or maybe it was a stray outside the window? No. No, they didn't have any cats. And I definitely would have known if a stray cat had gotten in. With Ronpo in the yard, no cats could have gotten by without him barking up a storm. And I distinctly remember the sound being loud enough to come from the room, not from outside the house. Seriously? Creepy. Well... What's even creepier is, I can remember my grandfather telling me more than once. When that cat cries, misfortune comes calling. What was that? Ooh, what? I was given strict orders to never even approach the study if I ever heard a cat meowing in there. That's why, once I heard that cat, I ran back to my room and hid, terrified. Let's see. Taj says... Derivatives! Oh my gosh. All those words Taj give me. They give me the PTSD. Yeah, derivatives were your jam? Nice. Sine, cosine, and angle was trigonometry. Oh, that was trigonometry? Oh, derivatives are calculus. 
And you hated that math. <laughs> I did too, Taj. But man, what was derivatives about? Man, I'll say I don't even know what's going on. Derivatives. Yeah. And Amasawa says, and the next day, my grandfather was. Ah, <sighs> that must have been so hard. If I'd just been brave enough to go in the room instead of running, I could have... Maybe I could have prevented my grandfather from dying. Hey. Seven years ago. You were only about 11, right? Don't blame yourself for being scared. Huh. A truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. I wonder if her grandfather's own incident has anything to do with Amasawa taking that saying so seriously. Alright, the incident seven years ago. Amasawa. You said your grandfather's death was ruled an accident. Was there even a slight chance that it was actually a crime? Yes. The police came and checked the scene but they said they couldn't find anything suspicious. Besides, it happened in a locked room. Not only was the door to the study inaccessible, but the crescent locks on all the windows were still secure. Let's see. Taj says, formulaic instantaneous rate of change basically built upon algebra oh my gosh Taj giving me the the dizzy headaches <laughs> oh yeah I'm glad I can't see what that is oh man yeah never got around to it Dun, 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 dun. So, Taj, what was your major in, in college before all the med stuff? Let's see. Mine was communications. But communications just meant whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I got to take, what did I take? Photography, filmmaking, film theory. Um... Graphic design, computer graphics, uh, photography. Uh, photography was cool because I got to do the, you know, the dark room filmmaking and stuff where you uh, put all the chemicals. It was fun, but it's like useless these days. And then what else did we take? As an English minor. So I took American literature, uh, a lot of literature classes, Shakespeare, stuff like that. Your pre-health scientific psychology with a business law minor. Oh wait, did I take law? I took business law. I took one business law class because it was required. Um, it was... Why was it required? We had to learn all about copyright law. And like the, Which is why I'm a stickler for... Um, not using copyrighted material on my own creative things. Yeah, so you know like how the squad always plays K-pop music and stuff? Even if I had the ability to do so, I wouldn't do it because that... Clearly a violation of copyright law. Like, there is no fair use, like, to justify it uh, in streaming. So, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. So, yeah, that's why we took business law. Let's see. A locked room, uh, death, and a cursed statue. This is sounding more and more like one of Kitan Amasawa's books. Let's see, you wanted to do double major psychology and business law, but realized that you hated torts 
and writing them. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd imagine. Well, it's good you found your path. Um, what's a crescent lock? They're the most common kind of window locks in homes, for a reason. They get the job done. I doubt the windows were a point of entry for anyone that night. Oh, okay. Since the police didn't see any signs of a break-in or even a struggle, they really had no recourse but to rule the death an accident. So it's doubtful this was a burglary gone wrong. Oh, that was Yagami. Afterwards, the unlucky cat creeped out the whole family enough that my grandmother pawned it off. Unsurprisingly, the family lost track of the statue after that, so I never expected to see it again like this. Oh my gosh, cursed statue. You just gotta throw it into a volcano. This is the only way to get rid of cursed items. You gotta go up to Mount Doom in Mordor. Yeah. Ha, huh. Shimada-san. Thank you for going out of your way to help us today. Oh no, it's my pleasure. Did you find any clues? Maybe even a lead now? Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not so sure. Hmm? Uh-oh! Huh. Oh, look out! Aw oh, man, the curse! Oh, what the? Ah, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I guess it wasn't secured all the way. It can't be. Uh, was that the unlucky cat? Unbelievable. No way. Uh, Dad, please. What's it going to take for you to get rid of the statue? <laughs> uh, even I'm starting to get freaked out by this. Ah. <sighs> Wait, who's Mikio? Oh, wait. Huh. Well, we should get home. Thanks again for today. Huh. Excuse me. Actually, sir. Yes? Please and thank you. Would you mind leaving the statue with us for a while? <laughs> what? Leave it with you? Yes. Until we can debunk the curse. But aren't you worried? This curse is starting to look pretty real deal to me. Ah, my grandfather once said, curses only blight their believers. Did he now? Yes. He also said, you must never succumb to the marvel of a mystery. You must keep your wits about you. Despite my age, he imparted his philosophy of mystery solving to me before his death and I hold the truths he's shared with me in the highest regard as Kitan Amasawa's grandchild I cannot back down to these strange events and turn away from a genuine mystery I refuse to believe in this curse therefore I will have it will have no effect on my pursuit of the truth Ah, <sighs> but still. Not only that, this is a mystery that needs solving by an Amasawa. Oh, Amasawa-san. When I heard that meow seven years ago, I ran from the truth, and the result was absolutely horrible. I'll never make that same mistake again. Ah. <sighs> Okay, if that's the case, I'll leave it with you. Please find a way to break the curse before something bad happens again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. All right, we got the cat. 
Now we're cursed. Excuse me. By the way, I heard you brought the bought the statue from a friend who runs a second-hand shop. Which one would that be? Ebisu Pawn in Ijincho. Ebisu Pawn, got it. I'll go speak with him now. Thanks again. Hamasawa's really into this case. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, considering. Well, I should step up my advising efforts for her on this one. Wait, yeah. Alright, let's see. Taj says you wanted to do double majors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, man. That's a lot of... That's a lot of work there, Taj. Wait a minute. I heard someone fudge. Aw, man. She said it was personal. She is determined. <laughs> Fell on her grandfather's head. <laughs> Just gotta solve the mystery. It's like a Scooby-Doo thing, fudge. Oh, man. No, nope, that's not it. Da 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 da. All right, is Amasa still with us? Where is she? There she is. All right, we gotta go to the pawn shop. I know where that is. Let's think around here. Goodness. Let's see. Jinkies! <laughs> oh, man. Why, why is it always so hard to find things on this map? This is a gin show. I know the pawn shop is like... Well, let's just look at the stores. That's Benton Pawn. Oh, Ebisu's up here. Fudge. Right? Here it is. No? It's like around here somewhere. Sweet heaven. You know what? Let's just find it in the... Oh, no, there it is. I found it. It is... There it is. You used to love Scooby-Doo? You used to watch it on Cartoon Network? I know, right? I used to watch the original one, and then when they had the Cartoon Network one with the... Oh man, what band was it? Oh man, it was like... It was some, um... What do you call it? <laughs> What's your Scooby Doo coming after you? Gonna solve that mystery. What's your Scooby Doo? Na -na 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 -na. -da 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 -da. I think it was like Sum 41 or one of those bands. Uh oh. Smash Mouth? Cool. Man, I love that whole era of music. I got so many CDs from back then. Oh no! My god, look at that back kick. Really, guys? Oh, we're going the wrong way. We should not have gone that way. It's up this way. Yeah, that way, Amasawa. Keep up. Sorry, miss. All right, there's bad guys there, so let's like take the long way around. Nope. Oh fudge. I'm sorry, now you're gonna let them beat me up. Where's the other guy? Oh. oh. 
It was simple plan? Man, I haven't heard these band names in forever. Didn't the Smash Mouth guy die lately? That's sad. Simple Plan. I'm trying to remember what their songs were. But it has been a long while. I'm sorry, run. Those guys are chasing us. Yeah, that's a jujitsu move, man. Oh, fudge. This guy got the big old puffy jacket. That's some, uh, what do you call them? Really, guys? Those, uh, goose down ones. <laughs> Don't get hit by cars, I'm a solid fudge. You got hit by a car. <laughs> get it. Get over here. Okay. We look both ways. Let me see. Yeah. Aw oh, man, I love that era of music, Taj. Alright, Ebisu Pawn is... This way? Oh no, bad guys. The lead singer of Smash Mouth? He died in September. You didn't know that? It was on the news. Was it on the news? It was, I don't know where I saw it. Maybe on the news or, our, or YouTube. Fudge. I think we just punched each other in the face. There we go. Oh no, I didn't know there was some guys still there. Man, we're moving so fast. Uh oh, there's still somebody? Yeah. <sighs> Man, you can tell when you're getting old when when old edgy bands that you liked are now like classic music. <laughs> oh, that was the funniest thing. I remember a friend of mine, he was he said he was at a bar and then uh what do you call it? There was like a cute girl he was flirting with, and then he put he put a selection in the uh, in the jukebox. There was like a music thing at the bar, and then uh, the song he selected, the girl was like, "Oh my god, I love classic music." <laughs> oh man! I mean, oh man! That bird straight into him. Yeah. Wait a minute, is this it? I think this is it. Is this the pawn shop? That hurt. That hurt deep. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, is this a bad time? I'm from the Yagami Detective Agency. Takayuki Yagami. Oh, we'd like to ask you a, f a few questions. Oh. oh, a detective. It's a pleasure. Let's see. You saw them twice? When they opened for NSYNC? And in 2019? Oh my gosh. I remember there was like some NSYNC reunion thing. Man, my s is that the group? Yeah, my sister was really into NSYNC before. Yeah. I think she went to the concert. Yeah. That's the one with uh, Justin Timberlake, right? Yeah, my sister was really into NSYNC before. It was insane. She collected a lot of stuff. Let's see, that's epic. 
She must have been much younger. Sounds like they didn't have much in common. Uh, that's right. That's why my friend was so disappointed. It was like, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. So funny. That's when you could tell you're the old guy at the bar. <laughs> Let's see. You're his assistant. Uh, a high schooler? Uh, is there a problem? Yeah. No, uh, not particularly. Uh, what is it you wanted to ask? Well, we're looking for this lucky cat statue for Mikio Shimada-san. He says he knows you. Ah, this is for Shimada-san. Uh, would you mind if I ask, how did you first come to acquire the statue? This pawnbroker friend of mine, uh, he closed up his shop, so I bought his remaining in inventory. He couldn't vouch for the statue's authenticity, though. Well, we know it's the real thing now, but maybe we oughtn't... Oughtn't? Man, what an abbreviation there. Okay, oughtn't fill him in on that. Yeah, might make a mess of things. You uh, don't happen to know who sold the cat to your friend originally, do you? Uh, nah, uh, sorry. He told me it had been passed around a bunch before it ended up in his shop. But he didn't know any specifics. Probably why he couldn't authenticate the thing. I see. Uh, thanks anyway. Oh, one last question. This might sound odd, but when you still had the statue in the shop, did anything uh, strange ever happen here? Eh? Uh, strange. Uh, you mean the curse. Nah. I don't buy into that stuff. Nothing ever happened here to make me change my mind, either. Hmm. Nothing at all? Are uh, you sure? Nope. The guy I got the statue from never mentioned any, any of the sort. Although, I suppose he might have just not wanted to sound crazy. Oh, I see. yagami -san. Does this mean the so-called curse didn't begin until Shimada-kun's father acquired the statue? Yeah. Yeah, sounds like it. Anyway. Hmm? Uh-oh. Oh, what's smoke? Yagami-san! Uh, it's on fire! Are you serious? Oh, really? Oh! Oh, get the fire extinguisher! Yeah, yeah. We got the fire out right away, but... We seriously have no idea where it came from. Just whoosh, out of nowhere. Phew, phew. I'm glad that didn't get any worse. It can't be. Yagami-san, what do you think started that fire? Hmm. I have to say, the number of incidents around this cat is getting ridiculous. I don't think this is coincidence at all anymore. Mm -hmm. Hang on, do you smell something? Gasoline? Gas? That would mean there's a chance that the fire earlier was actually arson. Yes. Agreed. Yagami-san, what do you say we search the scene really quick before the police get here? Yeah. Let's check out and observe for any traces in the area. Keep sharp for anything like gasoline trails or containers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Tosh. But, yeah. You can tell my friends aren't done with the, uh, you know, aren't done with trying to be the partying uh, crowd, even though they're a little too old to be doing that. And they're going to Mardi Gras and stuff. 
Me and us were twenty-somethings. You ain't supposed to be there. Okay, we have to observe. How do we observe? We observe like this. Where's the fire? I don't know where the fire was. Was it, is it, was it in the store? Or was it outside the store? Oh, getting dizzy. I think it's outside the store. Okay. Gotta... Gotta investigate. <clears throat> there we go. Examine. That looks like gasoline. Hmm? Ah, what's this? Something was dripping here. If I were to guess... I'd wager it's gasoline, based on the color and smell. Yeah. That ah, goes all the way to the alley. Let's see if we can track it. Oh, why are you turning that way, Amasawa? Don't step in the gasoline and ignite your shoes. Wait, wait, wait. Is the alley over there where Amasawa's... I don't know. I thought they were pointing this way. Suspicious. There we go. Ah. A plastic bottle. Inside, more gasoline smell. Which means... Does this mean... Yeah. The fire at the pawn shop was actually arson. But who's the culprit, and why? Ah, no idea. But let's fill in the police and the guy at the shop on what we found first. That officer's like, okay, I'm on the case. Excuse me. I'll, f I'll fill out the paperwork. Yagami-san, how should we proceed with this investigation from here? Well, now that we know the fire at the pawn shop was intentionally set, what I'd love to do is pin down our little firebug. What? Pin them down? How exactly? Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about them, but they're obviously after the statue. Maybe we can just lure them out somehow. <laughs> A solid enough idea. Where should we start? Hmm. I suppose just meandering around town ought to do it. Considering how quickly the pawn shop was hit, I can't imagine it taking long. Mm -hmm. I see. Some genuine hard-boiled legwork, eh? A lot riskier than my usual investigations. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely going to be more dangerous than I like. That's why you ought to head back to... I think not. Please allow me to continue on the case. Amasawa, this is... Please and thank you. I, I like how she always says please and thank you. <laughs> That's one way to shut people up. Oh, man. I need to solve this myself, Yagami-san. Please. Gotcha. Ah, okay. But you really have to be careful. And keep your distance when we're in public. Got it? I'm basically a walking tragedy magnet. Carrying around the thing. Yes. Yes, I promise. I'll be safe. So, where should we head first? Preferably somewhere that makes it easy to watch our backs while we kill time. How about we play darts? What? You want to play darts? Why? Only one person has to take their eye off their surroundings at a time. And if someone does come after us, you can always counter with some darts to the face. <laughs> okay, I have to give you points for the overall plan, but darts to the face? Um, make no mistake, I'm actually quite good at the game. My aim's solid enough to be able to hit a human head. Nope. No. <laughs> so... I think it'd be best if I handled any incoming threats. And if you just, uh, don't say that kind of thing to someone, 
maybe. Ah, right. Well, uh, after you? Well, we're not out here to play games, but... This case has also been a pretty big weight on Amasawa. Maybe it'd be a doer some good to blow off steam. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fun conversations. Da 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 bum 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 bum. Sure, let's play for a bit. Keep your eyes peeled for any suspicious individuals along the way, especially if they're approaching you. I'll be careful. At least this is a small place. We'll definitely see anyone coming for us here. Darts. Oh man, we only have the basic dart. Alright, let's play count up. Now oh, we actually have to play. Okay. Let's do this, Yagni san. I'm not gonna hold back. Almost all pay attention to to our surroundings first. Alright, so it's not like we have to win, so Fudge. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh. What was that? That was the worst ever. Da 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 da. What? Oh, she did say she was good at the game. Okay. Round two. Fudge. Uh. Yeah. Fudge. Yeah, we're hit ahead by a little bit, but I should probably make it up. Not doing so hot. Oh. My turn then. Fudge. <sighs> Dang it. Lots of winning power. Da 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 da. You got this. If you could get a yeah. uh, ah, close. You can't win them all. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, is anybody gonna attack us now? There we go. All right. Uh not bad, Yagami-san. <laughs> Should I have gone easy on you? Oh, don't rub it in. I'm a sour. So, did you see anyone suspicious yet? Uh, I, I, uh, I kind of got into, too into the game and forgot to look around. Oh, come on. You seriously weren't looking? I guess I sort of got into the zone there too, though. 
<sighs> Looks like darts didn't make for the best cover activity. We should shift gears. Uh, what would work better for us? Good idea. How can we watch out for potential assailants? How about the batting center? What? W why there? If I were to guess... We'll still be able to see anyone approaching us. In fact, this could be even better than darts. If one person does all the batting, the other can observe our surroundings without losing concent concentration on a game. Boom. And even better, a bat makes for a much more effective defense weapon than darts. I see. Alright, well, I'll handle the defense part for us. But let's get over there before something bad can happen to us here. Da -da -da -dum. Speaking right. of burdens, have you been studying for your exams? That is something I try not to think about. Where is the batting center? It's like over here. No, no, no. I don't know where it is, actually. I know where the one in Kamarocho is. I wish it would blink. There it is. It's all the way over here. Uh, fudge, it's far. Can we just take a taxi? Obsessing over rote memorization would affect my reasoning skills. Well, I reason that you shouldn't let your club activity. Oh. Uh, no, I think they're gonna make us walk. Oh, this cat's here. We'll see the cats. If he's getting in the way of your studies. I admit that's also something I try not to think about. That doesn't sound like the Amasawa I know. You gotta face the facts sometime. No, stop it! Oh, brother. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Gotta hang out with the cats. Da 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 da. Alright, where are they? Hey you, it's been a while. A name, huh? What did we name this one? Shadow, buddy, princess. Uh maybe we named them Buddy. Buddy. Wanna play for a bit? Okay, we're gonna pet. No, no, food. Pick the one with the can that looks like him. You look like this? Oh, you look more like this. There you go. Level up. Popularity. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really putting it away there, aren't you? Makes me wonder how that tastes. Yeah. Hey, plus ten. Oh, looks like I've got a present from a little someone. He gave us extract recipe. Diplomatic solution. Alright, cats. It's fun hanging. Oh, Amasawa. Alright. Looks like we just gotta run all the way to here. Bum 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 bum, lot of running. Wait for me, please. <laughs> let's, just, let's just ditch Amasawa. Oh, you got this. Let's run a little faster. It's okay, it's a long run, but you gotta stretch your legs. 
Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. How's everybody doing in the chat? By the way, who's here? Four people? I see Lucas, Gator. Yeah. Welcome, guys, and a big peacekeeper salute to you all. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. And Diane, welcome, Diane. A big peacekeeper salute to you, Diane. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Yeah. I've been watching Spy Family. And uh, thank you, Diane. Let's see, what did I watch in Spy Family? Oh, they got to the part where they got the dog. It like it, they're right in the middle of getting the dog from like some kind of student uh, activist group that's like planning an, an assassination or something. Fudge fight. Got him. Yeah. And how are you doing, Diane? Any fun stuff going on? I'm coming with you. Almost all catch up. Don't get hit by a car. The enemy's You're going too fast. Let's see, you went to a work holiday party? That was casino themed? My gosh, Taj was telling me about something like that earlier. Taj was on a casino boat. Yeah. Did you get the gamble, Taya, Diane? Are you good at gambling? I am terrible at gambling. I think the most I ever won was maybe $150. That's about it. I've never won big, big in gambling. Let's see. Tosh says, before you forget again, what books did you get with my audible credits? Uh, you wouldn't be interested in them, Tosh. It's like all Warhammer books. <laughs> so it's all part of the Warhammer Horse Heresy series. Uh, some of that and Siege of Terra. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Taj, but I should get 12 more credits on the 22nd. So, I'm going to have way more books to, to have to get throughout the year. So, if you have anything you want to recommend that we should, we should uh, do a book club on, I am totally up for it. Or anything in the free library is good, too. That's at least fun to just spend the time. Oh, wait, wait, Diane says... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me see what's going on in the chat, because I'm missing a lot of good chat. Mm, I'll see. Sounds fun. Did you win anything? Diane says, No, you're not good at gambling, but you did gamble. It was play money? Aw, oh, man, play money. You broke even, though? Well, that's always good, at least. Let's see. Were there any prizes that at least is fun to just spend the time? You turn earn money into a raffle tickets. And oh you didn't win? Oh that's cause you broke even, right? Nothing to be sorry about, just wondering what I got. Still sounds fun. Yeah. Oh man, I wish you had won some some prizes. That would have been cool. It's like uh it's like adult Dave and Busters. <laughs> <laughs> That's always fun. Yeah, man. What a waste. Dan, you always your your job always has really cool work events. I remember last time you told me about you went like you had a whole amusement park just for the employees of your company. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Really, guys? I'm coming with you! 
I'm a sour ketchup. What's this? Six Flags? Yeah. Oh my god, that's kind of cool that you got you had the whole park to yourself. Someone might have dropped this. Okay, now we have to find somebody that's that had dropped this item. That is nearby. I see absolutely no one here. This person? Maybe inside. Oh, well, whatever it was. Yeah, Diane. Oh my gosh, those work outings must be super fun. Yeah, earlier Taj was telling me they went to a, what was it? A casino boat. And then they did uh, line dancing stuff. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like electric slide stuff. Ah, nice. Made it safely. Let's get right into it so we don't look suspicious. Yes. Right, acting natural. All right. All right, Slugger. Show me what you got. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait. You're not going to bat, Amasawa? Uh, let's just say I'm more literally inclined than athletically inclined. Pretty sure even a bookworm can swing a bat. Still, a bit too hard-boiled of detective work for my taste. Well, who's gonna be on lookout? And then gonna fight the bad guy when... Okay. Okay, just keep an eye out for while I swing a few. Can't have anyone sneaking up on us. Yes. Right. Leave it to me. Dun dun. And also, Diane, didn't your company have like some big food thing? I remember you told me there was like some foodie. Uh, I don't know what it was. But yeah, you had some fancy food thing going on. All right. Look like she. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Where was the casino? Was it at an actual All casino? Right. Huh. Yep. Oh, they had a food truck thing. That's kind of cool. Ah, huh. oh, fudge. Uh. Uh -huh. huh. They rented a room in a hotel. Oh, fancy. Nice. How often does stuff like that happen? Is it just once a year or for special occasions? It was a holiday party? Oh, yeah, 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 fudge. I'm like forgetting it's Christmas. Uh. <laughs> or like, non-denominational holiday yeah. party. Uh. Well now, we're not doing so good in this game. There we go. Man, I'm a solid better have paid attention. C rank. Cool. Got any holiday plans, Zion? What do you what what you got planned? You doing another friend dinner? Let's see. Oh, are you having an off day? Nah. I guess so. Kind of weird. I usually get a few more hits in them than that. <laughs> like I can't read. Well, it happens to us all, I suppose. Ah, great. The bookworm has to make me feel better here. You going to Arizona? Dan, you could meet up with Taj. Taj is in Arizona. Let's see. Taj says your mom's having her birthday dinner. 
with one of her boards next week. Your dad's company had their holiday party last two weeks ago. Cool. Oh, man. I want to be part of a company doing all holiday parties. Wait, do we? I was just thinking, it was like, oh, what the, what did we used to do? Nah, it's just a normal holiday party at my aunt's, well, not my aunt's house, our old house. That's what normally happens, but I'm probably just going to stay home. Probably just going to stay home and be all grumpy. Be all grumpy and grinchy. Yeah. Your company is all remote, so they don't have holiday parties. Oh man! You should you should have a Zoom Zoom uh, party. I don't know how. <laughs> mhm. Mm Mesa, Mesa, Arizona. Mom and sister. Are. Yeah. Also, Taj, if you didn't know. Diane's sister what was it, wrote a wrote a kid's book. I forgot what the title was. But yeah, it was last year. Big publishing event. All right, have some water. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey. So, any luck on your end? Not spot anyone? Mm. Yeah, about that. I've seen a few somewhat suspicious people, but no one who seems to be paying us any attention. I see. Uh, why don't we take a short break for now? Well, what do we do now? We're trying to have somebody attack us. Da 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 da! Many Dungeons and Dragons going on, Diane. Yeah. Let's see. Tar says nice. there are a lot of festivals right now. If you're interested and want to check them out, yeah, Diane. Tosh was telling me about a a light show over there in Arizona that you have to drive through. I saw a video on it. It looked really interesting, like a big uh, light display. That you drive your car through like a corn maze. Something like that. Let's see. Cool about the book? Yeah! It's always neat seeing people that have, you know, written books. You gonna go to one too, Diane? Nice. Uh-oh! She's holding the cursed cat. Hey. Hey. Amasawa, can I ask you something? What is it? Is your grandfather the reason you started the Mystery Research Club? Yes. Yes. In fact, he's the reason I grew up so obsessed with mysteries in general. He's been a very big influence in my life. So, do you see yourself becoming a mystery author in the future? Mm. Uh, I certainly hope so. No, more than that. I believe it's something I must do. Really? Yes. Truth be told, my dream is to complete his unfinished masterpiece. Oh. Do you have an unfinished manuscript of his? Well... I do. When he passed away, he was in the midst of completing the final entry of his most popular series. He got roughly halfway through the draft, but he didn't write anything about the most crucial part. The dual reveal of the culprit and the method. That being said... He didn't leave any notes behind that even hint towards what they could be. So no one knows how he meant to finish the book. Ah, sounds like you got some real work on your hands. Indeed. Although... I recently realized something I, that could be the potential answer to the mystery. Oh. Dang, you really are good. <laughs> I'll have to send you a copy someday for that one. 
Let me know if you figure it out before you get to the end. Mm -hmm. hmm. Excuse me. Huh? They're being observed. Hey. Huh, what's going on? Yagami-san, please keep eye contact and pretend we're just chatting. <laughs> huh? Uh, why? Well... There's a man across the street who keeps looking at us. Hmm? There is? Now that I think of it, he was at the arcade, too. What? He followed us here? Yes. Seems so. He wasn't acting suspicious there at first. But later, when I took off with the statue and hid from his sight, he was looking around in a panic, like he'd lost sight of something. So, you think he's a he's been after us this whole time? Yes, I presume so. Excuse me. Yagami-san, how about we take a bit of a calculated risk? What is it you want to calculate? Yes. If I stay here and distract him, would you be willing to slip out and loop back around him? That way, you can catch him before he has a chance to escape. I see. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's a solid plan. I'll get over to him real quick. Gotta find that back door first. Okay, I know where that is. Boop, boop, boop. It's this way. Okay, let's get over there real quick. So yeah, while I'm playing, guys, feel free to chat about anything. I will catch up on the conversation. And also, you could chat amongst yourselves. He'll definitely see me coming from here. How can I sneak up on him without getting caught? Uh, head to the back door. Sneak up on the suspicious man. Well, how do I do that from here? Oh no. Hmm. That jacket's... Ah, he recognizes me. I guess he did see me with Amasawa a few different places. How can I sneak up on him without getting caught? It's going to be an extra tough, since he knows what I look like right now. Ah, we have to disguise ourselves, apparently. Oh wait, we have a disguise! Fudge! I forgot! Well, we... Disguise. Okay, we'll... We'll dress up... It's... It's one of the regular homeless. Alright, we got our disguise on. Even got a beard. Alright, this outfit should do it. I'll move slowly enough to not call his attention. Hey. Doot, doot, doot. Mm -hmm. Huh? Who are you? Oh. oh, wait! You're with that girl! And... And you're the firebug at the pawn shop, right? Huh? Yagami-san! Amasawa, keep away. Ha! Huh. The cat! The lucky cat! Oh, do you want this? I, um, you want it because it's evidence, right? Because of what's still on it? Ah, you saw it. You saw it? Mm -hmm. Saw so what, pray tell? Is there something on this cat that could put you away for good, perhaps? <clears throat> oh, what? Excellent bluff, Amasawa. You led him right where you wanted him. 
What? Hey. And now we have the final confirmation. So what is it on this cat that could get you in so much trouble? Hmm? Ah, <sighs> you tried to burn down a pawn shop over this thing. What's on the cat that you need gone so badly? Who, who knows? Hey. Answer us. What do you know about Kitan Amasawa's death? Hey, I said stay back. Huh? Oh no. Hand it over! What? How? How dare you? I oh know it's gonna break. Amasawa. Jeez, Amasawa. I thought you said you weren't suited for the hard boiled work. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I was a bit rambunctious when I was little. Still have what it takes to raise a bit of hell when needed. You, you effers! <laughs> I'm just gonna kill you both and take the thing. Okay, Amasawa. It's my job from here on. Stay back. Seriously. Alright, easy mode. There you go. Oh, he has to... He has to stand up there, pal. Fudge, man. Fudge. Here we go. da 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 bum 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 Oh, Dan, don't forget about those uh, those Korean shops that opened up in Arizona. Wasn't there, like, some Korean food marts? Yeah. Hey. Those will be fun to visit. Ah, let's tie them up, just in case. Ah, that ought to do it. Ah, oh, hey. Got all gross. Uh, considering how this man reacted to the cat, if I, were to guess. I believe there's at least one secret to it that we don't know. Yeah. Yeah, one that neither your family or the police knew about at the time either. Yes. And if that's the case, it's not going to be easy to discover. But I can't say that there's absolutely nothing to it. After all, it was one of my grandfather's most cherished, <laughs> cherished, rare possessions. Why don't we give it another look, a uh, thorough look over? Yeah, good idea. Suspicious. Okay. Um. Okay. Examine. Mm -hmm. Ah, this eyeball jiggles a little. Actually, I could push it in a bit, too. Uh, oh. oh, you're right. Interesting that the eyes are actually separate parts. But why make something so elaborate? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so eyeballs... Hmm. There's a slight gap around the neckline. Ah. Really? A gap? I thought it was all one big molded piece. Look, right here. It's more apparent now that I... that it has mud on it. Must have been from when it got dropped earlier. How odd. Why could it be there? Twist it off. A jiggly eye and a gap around the neck. I wonder if they have any function. Which means... You know, if the eyes and the neck are... Uh, could it be? 
an eye for the truth will eventually find the way. Hold on to that keen eye and take a good look around you. Yeah, you have to that? press the eye and twist the neck around. What? Sorry, I just remembered my grandfather saying this once while holding the cat. He said it with pride, but it always stuck out as somewhat odd to me. Let's see. Tar says, very nice. Depends on when you go back about the festivals. You think they're... They end right before the holidays, for the most part. And then resume after. Tosh, isn't there a name for the for the those festivals and stuff? I remember you told me before and I looked them up on YouTube. So that's how I found them. So if you want to if you want to refer to them. If I were to guess. Maybe he was giving me a hint all the way back then. A hint to how the cat works. Oh, a hint to how the cat works? Yes. Sometimes he'd give me clues to see if I could pick up on a mystery as a sort of game. <clears throat> I see. I see. But what do you think he meant by it? Hmm. Perhaps we're supposed to hold on to the eye and make the head go around? Look around. Um. Yeah, we should hold the loose eye in place and spin the head. In other words. Oh, I see. You hold on to the keen eye and make the head take a good look around. Yes. Right. Leave it to the wordsmith, huh? Let's say we give it a try. Leslie, well, Tosh says there's a ton of festivals, but you're talking about the World of Illumination. Yeah, I saw the YouTube video of that. It looked really cool. Christmas lights. Mess. <laughs> when I see that, all I think of is like it's a small world after all <laughs> at Disney. Or no, 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 not no, no, it's a small world. What's the what's the future thing <clears throat> in uh at Disney? Oh man, I can't remember of it. It's something like World of Tomorrow or something like that. <laughs> oh man. I remember they updated that thing. Cuz uh yeah, it was kind of out of date back in the day. <laughs> Let's see. They're in Tempe and Glendale. Ah. Rah, okay, we opened up the cat. Oh, it, it turned. Uh, the arm. Uh, Yagami-san, look. Oh, fudge. It meowed. Whoa. Uh, I just... Uh, it, can't be. it meowed. So, it's a trick statue? I bet this is what your grandfather was hinting at. Yes, of course, but no one in my family had any idea it could do that. It appears, yes, it has a secret compartment. Looks empty, though. Hmm, a smudge. No, a fingerprint and a dark red stain, all dried up. Is it? Yeah, no mistaking it this time. That's blood. Oh, I'm so screwed. No way. Then let me take a guess. That fingerprint's yours. Ugh. And this blood. It belongs to Kitan Amasawa, doesn't it? Ugh. Hey. Answer me. What do you know about this? Kitan Amasawa, my grandfather. Did you have something to do with his death? Your grand... Oh, I see. 
You're that man's granddaughter, huh? <laughs> to think his granddaughter would be the one who caught me. Seven whole years later. Please, answer me. Huh. Guess there's no getting away with this now. And I'm... I'm just so tired. Fine. Fine, I'll tell you. All right. Let's hear the truth about what happened to Kitan Amasawa. Finally, Amasawa and the rest of her family can get some closure. All right. Reasons for wanting the cat. If I have this right. So, you wanted to get the statue back so you could clean out the compartment? Yeah, uh, that's right. I didn't know for sure there was a fingerprint in it, though. Mm -hmm. Really? You mean, you did all this just to be cautious? Yep. I was wearing gloves at that night, so I wasn't thinking about fingerprints. But once I got away from the scene, I saw I had a tear in my glove, and my finger was covered in blood. In other words... So... You worried that you left some kind of trace at, at the scene. Later, I read that the police ruled his death an accident. So I knew they didn't find any prints. But that secret compartment, that could have been a game changer. There was a solid chance I left a trace of being in there. All it'd take was for one person to figure out the statue's secret and I'd be screwed. That's why I tried so hard to get the cat, but it fell off the map pretty quickly. For seven whole years, that damn cat's been the one thing on my mind. And all of a sudden, about a month ago, I see that effing thing on TV. The cat I see in my nightmares all the time. Oh, right. We did hear about it getting appraised on TV at some point. Mm. Let me tell you, I was sitting my... <laughs> I was, you know, myself watching that fancy pants appraiser, looking it over with his little magnifying glass thing. If he popped that compartment open on TV, whoo! So, you saw the current owner of the statue on the appraisal show. And that's when you tried to get it back from him. Right. Da -da. The incident seven years ago. It happened seven years ago, like you know. I was up past my eyeballs in debt. I needed a lot of money, and I needed it by sunrise. That's when I spotted the biggest mansion in the whole neighborhood. I'd heard some kooky famous author lived there. It can't be. So, you snuck into the house that night? Yep. The place was huge and all the lights were off. Figured I was getting caught. That being said... But Ronpo was in the yard, our dog. I'm sure he would have barked at you. He was too busy chowing down on the rice ball I tossed him. Oh, Ronpo. Sometimes you're too sweet. Hey. What'd you do next? I went looking for his study as fast as I could. I assumed all the real goods would be either stashed away or on display in there. It was late enough that I figured everyone would be asleep. But when I found the study and peeked inside, I saw the old man, just barely, lit up with a candle. He fiddled around with the cat's head and opened the thing up, and look, uh, and took something out. What? What was it? I couldn't believe it. Inside that cat? 
The old man had a bar of gold. Huh? A, a bar of gold? The way he was gritting at it, I knew it was real. It had to be worth millions. I jumped at him without even thinking. We tussled for a bit, so I grabbed the cat and I whacked him in the head with it. You... How, how could you? And then you took the gold and ran off? Yeah. Thought I was gonna be made for a life. Uh, made for life. Dang it. And in the end, the goddamn loan shark just swiped it from me and pretended it never happened. But how'd you get out? The study was locked when the police arrived. Oh, that. Uh, let's see, locked room. I panicked after accidentally offing the guy. This went from a simple robbery to a potential homicide fast. I made myself focus and I came up with an idea. I'd use the cat's arm gimmick to make the whole thing look like an accident. Huh? What do you mean? You'll see. Should happen any time now. Oh. Well, it closed. Real smart, that old man. It's built so it closes back up automatically. The arm sprang up, back up with surprising force. Yep, that's what I used. Uh, oh, yeah. I see. You rigged it up to the window, didn't you? Yep, sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the tree. I'm a sour. Uh, mind explaining, Amasawa? If I were to guess... What I imagine happened was he stacked up some books by the window and put the statue on top with its arm lowered, mind you. I also assume he arranged the books rather unstably so it would collapse. By placing the cat in the right spot, its paw would shoot upwards and engage the window lock, effectively sealing the room. He must have slipped out the window after quickly arranging the scene, then waited, hoping to see the gimmick play out as he had planned before he could be caught. When the time arrived, the paw shot up, whacking the window lock closed. Whoops! With enough force to knock over both the cat and the stack of books. Oh, by the way, Taj, you gotta recommend some books to me. Or, like, find... we can find something. Yeah. I gotta look, too. I gotta... we gotta find some kind of cool book. You gotta let me, like, know what kind of genre you like. Maybe a mystery. Maybe a mystery would be good. With enough force to knock over both the cat and the stack of books. Of, uh, Audible I'd go for. Or anything else. Even a credit one I'd be, I'd be interested in. After my credits renew. <laughs> Alright, this was the window right in front of the spot where my grandfather laid. Mysteries are good, especially ones that have both mystery and humor. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. But, you know, anything you, you think would be good, I'm up for. Yeah, it'll be cool to have a book club going. This was the window right in front of the spot where my grandfather laid. You have a ton? <laughs> cool. Yeah, anybody that's listening in the chat kind of kind of want to get some kind of, you know, book discussion group going. You know, yeah, it'd be cool. I think, you know, something would be a good activity. Let's see, this was the window right in front of the spot where my grandfather laid. The scene must have ended up looking like my grandfather had fallen and hit his head on the statue. So really, he didn't get hit by the statue. That guy just outright knocked him in the head and killed him. Terrible. I see. Ah. I get it now. 
which means... That gold bar must have been my grandfather's secret savings. It explains why he never told any of us about how the cat worked. And it explains why he tried to scare me away from my room. Uh, from the room if I ever heard it oh, meow. Can't blame your family for never finding out. I doubt anyone would have checked the secret treasure before getting rid of what they thought was a regular creepy statue. The curse of the lucky cat statue. All due to a secret my grandfather took to his grave. Finally, I know the truth. Huh. <sighs> Just like a mystery writer would hope. I would have been really screwed if... Yo... If you were this smart as a kid. It's kind of weird that they're just casually talking to her grandfather's murderer. Alright. Truth of the tragedy. Hold on. Does that mean you're the one causing all the trouble for the Shimada family? Huh. <sighs> Probably. Yeah. First I tried sneaking into their place to get it back, but the guy just woke up on me. When I told him to give me back the cat, he thought I was a ghost and straight up passed out. Well, he did say that he started suffering a mysterious illness after that night. A high fever to be specific. A fever? Oh, that's no mystery. I had a cold that night. Must have given it to him. Well, I suppose that explains that part. But you're not responsible for getting the guy sick. You tried to burn their house down too, didn't you? Well, I, uh... If I were to guess... No, oh, since the intimidation failed, you thought you could just resort to torching the evidence? Civilians be damned? Oops, okay. Are you the one who tried to run over Shimada-san too? And the one who caused the accident outside the cafe the other day? <laughs> you are a really good... Oh wait, you... Yeah, you are really good, kid. I figured if the owner died, his family would get just as creeped out as the last one. And get rid of the thing, you know? Ah, what a scumbag. Then what about Shimada-kun's grades dropping? Huh? <laughs> what about what? Ah, guess he doesn't have anything to do with that one. Fear makes mountains of molehills. Because they were so convinced misfortune would befall them, even the most harmless things were perceived as part of the curse. Oh man, that was a super long explanation. <laughs> ah, I still can't believe the statue had a secret compartment the whole time. Ah, let alone a gold bar at one point. At least I could finally chalk a non-supernatural cause up to the meowing I heard that night. Yeah. Yeah, good point. If you think about it, the curse attached to the statue was just another layer of security for my grandfather. Not only does it have a secret compartment with a gimmick to open it, but it even has an ominous story around surrounding it, designed to drive people away. Perhaps this amused my grandfather enough to make this one of his cherished possessions. I could see that. Masawa. Ugh, gotta drink something. At any rate, Amasawa, I'm glad you were able to get to the bottom of what really happened with your grandfather. Yes. I agree, truly. I can tell you the weight that's been lifted off my shoulders. Oh, I can't tell you. <laughs> and it's all thanks to you, Yagami-san. Oh, I don't know. You were really sharp on this case too, Amasawa. Huh? 
Really? Yeah. Yeah. You're the one who figured out the trick to opening the cat. Not only that, you solved the locked room murder right after learning who did it. Mm. Well, that's true, but still. You know what, Amasawa? I sort of feel like your grandfather was hoping you'd solve the statue's mystery all along. Think about it. Why else would he ask you to ask you a riddle about the statue while holding it if you wanted to keep it a secret to everyone? What? Oh, even with what was in it? If I'd solved the mystery, I'd find out what's inside. Well, maybe it was meant to be a gift for your future you. Or like a prize. Awarded to full-grown detective Kyoko Amasawa. Mm -hmm. I see. So, when I don't fall victim to lies and push past the fear, I can find a glimpse of the truth. <laughs> that definitely sounds like my grandfather. The gold might be gone, but you still grew up to become a fine detective and solve the genuine mystery, just like your grandfather predicted. I'm sure he's proud of you, wherever he is. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. Well, Grandpa, are you? There we go, Curse of the Amasama family. All right, we did it. In under three hours. <laughs> Man, that was a long side story. Yeah. All right, I think I'm going to end it after this one. We'll see if there's any more that we have to do to complete it. Nope, looks like we're done. Yeah. That was a neat one. It's like watching... Yeah, this game, it's like watching a whole TV series. Like, based around this dude. Yeah. Ugh, get some fresh air. All right, everyone. Oh, by the way, okay, so... For this week, my dad said he's not coming next weekend. So I'll probably be streaming next weekend, too. Yeah. And also, Tosh, if you want to play... Uh, Fall Guys on your Switch, we can do a Fall Guys night. Yeah, I wonder how many people can play Fall Guys at one time. Yeah. Uh, if Diane, if you're still there. <laughs> Taj says uh, she has Fall Guys on her Nintendo Switch. So we might try to play that sometime if it if it lets us cross play. So I don't know if we could get a bunch of people together to play it. Maybe it'll work. No, no, no. I've only ever played with Bename and Sandy. But, yeah, no, Bename was on PC, so I, there, there should be crossplay for Fall Guys. It'll be fun! Yeah. We'll see if it works. Let's see. Let's save. Wait a minute. Let's see if we can buy skills. Oh my god, we have 68,000. Wait a minute, I think there's an 80, 80k skill that I needed to buy. Is it this one? Boost attack? No, no, no. No, no, no. Here it is. We need we need 80. Okay, so we're going to save our points till we can buy this. Because we can gain 300% more experience after battle. Yeah. Oh, got to save. You think there is crossplay? Actually, Ty, well, I don't know what time it is by you. We could probably test it out and run one game if you want. 
But I don't know if you have your switch with you set up already. You just need the share code. Okay, you know what? From what you're reading. Okay, you know what? I'm going to start up a stream. Let me... Let me save here. And then I'm going to close stream. And then I'm going to launch Fall Guys. And then we could see if... Get the share code. Did I save? I didn't see a confirmation. Okay, let's save here too. One thing says you need to be friends... Another says you just need to go to customs and type in the share code. I think yeah, I think that's what I did with Benime. So for right now, I'm going to end stream and then I'm going to launch Fall Guys. So I'm going to be right back, everyone. But we have to end this like we, we always end our things. So when I upload it to YouTube. So if you enjoyed this live or as a past broadcast, please consider giving me a follow and making a new friend. And please check me out on YouTube and Twitch. And a big peacekeeper salute to all my peacekeepers out there. Oh man, peace angels in the chat. Hey, the angels protect and guide you. Yeah, thank you Taj, thank you Diane. Uh, who else was here? It was like Gator and Lucas, I believe. Yeah, and some. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to be right back with a little bit of Fall Guys so we can do some setting up. Yeah. All right. Have a great night, everyone. I'm going to be right back with Fall Guys. <laughs> See you. Night.